All right, here we have a 460 that I am going to be changing the oil pump on. I've removed the clutch cover, assuming that most of you can remove a clutch cover without seeing somebody do it on video. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the E-clip here, which is simple. You just use a uh, flat screwdriver to remove that. Remove your washer. Move your sprocket, rim sprocket, move your clutch drum, remove your clutch bearing. Now you're down to the um, down to the clutch. So I'm gonna take off this plastic around this clutch. I think I need to take that off, but let's get down to the let's get down to the pump first. Let me get a socket to take off that clutch drum. All right, got my socket. Remember your your clutch is reverse thread, so you're gonna go righty tighty, righty loosening with a impact. With the compression, it'll spin it right off. All right, so there we've got our clutch off. Here's our washer. Now we see our oil pump is right there I'm gonna go blow this off real quick all right we're back now got it blown off I'm gonna take this these plastics off so I can get better access down there looks like I'm gonna need to take the shield off as well so I'm gonna pull this off. We're gonna pull, grab our straight screwdriver and pull off the shield here. Remember, anytime that you're pulling this stuff off, if you don't know what you're doing, you don't know how it goes back together, make sure you take pictures of it. All right, we've got our shield off. Let's pull. Maybe that shield doesn't have to come off. I haven't taken one of these apart in a while. So we're gonna take this worm gear out. Worm gears out. Now remember, do not use an impact with these screws in here. You do not want to have these strip. Is there a real bitch to try and tap them? All right, we got those out. Next we're gonna do is we're gonna pull on that oil pump. Pulls right out. Make sure you clean off the new oil pump that's going back in there. Make sure there's no dust or debris on it. Then you just insert the new one back in there. Like so. Put your screws back in, your bolts. Remember, hand tighten these. Do not impact these. You do not want to strip these out. Tights tight and two tights. Oh shit, I'm gonna have to spend a half hour on this.
There we go. Now we just repeat the process. Washer goes in with the indent up. Sorry. This goes in first, your worm gear. Worm gear always goes in first, then your clutch washer. Clutch drum goes back on. Remember, it's reverse thread. So when you go to tighten it, it's just a couple ugga duggas. Just like so. Now, I don't know if you can see, but there's the worm gear is inside of there. And I've got to see where the worm gear is at. There it is at the top. I don't know if you can see that on there. It's right up here. So I'm going to put my clutch drum on. Clutch bearing first. Clutch drum on. You kind of got to work it in there till it pops and clicks. That's good to go. Rim sprocket back on. Washer back on. And I always use upgraded Eclipse. So this is a bigger Eclipse that we're using. You can see the size difference between the two. This one's thicker as well. So I don't like the original ones that come on the Farmer Tech kits or on the pre-built saws. So we use these. We get these from uh, Fastenal. Pop it in. Now here's a trick that Gary Buxton taught me is if it's in the correct slot and it's in there nicely, it'll turn around. If it doesn't turn on that, then it's not in there correctly. So we got that put back together. Then all we have to do is put our put our clutch cover back on. Sorry. Got to put our shield back on first. Forgot to take that, that I took that off. Again, with these screws, hand tighten these. They don't need to be super tight. go and whenever I'm in here I always grab a dollop of grease and throw it on my tensioner just for good measure That'll sneak in down into the uh, into the worm gear as well. It'll work its way back. So put the shield back on. Shield screw. All nice and easy. Nothing too hard about changing out the oil pump on the 460. 660 is going to be the same. 440 is going to be very very close. It's just going to have a little. Um, it's going to have a little arm that you have to position in there to get it in correctly into the oil pump hole. I'm sorry, into the oil reservoir hole. So that'll be what you need to do with that one. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact me and ask me what you need help with. Um, look us up on our Facebook page, Just Send It Saws. Or you can get a hold of us on our Instagram page, again, just at Just Send It Saws. Or you can email me at lucas at justsenditsaws.com. Thanks for watching, guys.